Well, hi there. Today we're going to talk about Lesson 104. And Lesson 104 includes semicircles, arcs, and sectors. Now you're probably going to want to have something circular to draw uh, as you write these notes. First vocabulary, semicircle, half of a circle. Semi, half full, half of a circle. Here's an important piece of information. The length of a semicircle is half of the circumference of a circle with the same radius. The area enclosed by a semicircle and its diameter is half of the area of the full circle. To find an area of a semicircle is really a very basic thing. You use the area formula to find the area of a circle, which is pi r squared, and you would divide it by 2. So you would take 3.14 times 25, which happens to be the radius squared, 5 times 5, and then you would take that amount and divide it by 2. Here's a really good picture of it, okay? Um, if you, you don't have to draw a perfect circle to be able to figure this out, but it does have, but it's kind of nice for you to see what you need to do to do it, okay? If you are to find the circumference of a semicircle, okay? You're going to use the circumference formula, which is right here, pi d, and you would take 3.14 times 10, diameter is 10, which is two of the radiuses, and then you would divide that by 2, and that would give you 15.7, which is the circumference of the semicircle. Okay, now, we ha often see semicircles and other figures put together to find it to form odd shapes of things. And if you think about it, there's a lot of things that could be this shape, okay, with a round back and a square front. And if we want to find the area of the entire figure, we have to be a little bit creative. Uh, the first thing we would obviously do is use the formula that we had up here, okay, for area of a semicircle. That's pi r squared divided by two, plus the length times the width of this rectangle which is 5 times 10. You would add those two together and you get 89.25. Now, if you want to get the perimeter of the same object, you would use the, the same formula that we used over here and you would find the perimeter or the circumference of the whole circle and then you would divide it in half, which we already have done, so I just carried it over here, 15.7 plus the perimeter of the three sides of the rectangle, which is 5 plus 10 plus 5. And you would add them together and that would be 35.7. Okay? So, that is a really pretty simple thing. And that's what this lesson's about, just being able to find semicircles and arcs. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is arcs and sectors. Okay? Now, I always got confused on these. The area of the shaded part, this is this shaded part here, this is a sector. It's the pie shape, okay, that's shaded inside of this in blue. The arc is the outside of the circle that um, borders from the edge to the edge of this sector. So this is the arc, this is the sector, okay? Draw a picture of it and label it. Now, if we want to find the area of that sector, we have to know what fraction of this circle is the sector. Well, this is 300 from here to here. So 360 minus 300 makes this 60 degrees. And then you put 60 degrees over 360 to find the percentage, the fractional part of the circle. So this particular sector is one sixth of the entire circle. To find the area then of that sector, pretty easy thing. Pi r squared times one sixth, okay? If you wanna find the arc length, okay? You would find the circumference of the entire circle you already know what part of the circle that that is. It's one sixth. So you would find the circumference, pi d, times one sixth. Over here is pi r squared times one sixth. You go through and do the work. You end up with this particular sector is 18.84 millimeters squared. That's the area. And the length of this arc up here, this arc right here from the edge to the edge, okay, is 6.28 millimeters. Pretty easy stuff, really. Pretty easy stuff. Okay, just a couple of uh, vocabularies. 
minor arcs are less than a semicircle. So in other words, it would be less than half the circle. That's a minor arc. Major arc is more than a semicircle, okay, but not the whole entire circle, okay? We measure arcs in degrees. Uh, the degrees in an arc is the measure of its central angle. We can list or determine the length of an arc by finding what part of the circumference it is. And that's it. Okay. Well, that wasn't too tough. I uh, hope you have a great day. If you have questions, be sure you ask me in class.